Hello, my name is Johan Tekens. I work for Steltix. Oracle has come out with Enterprise One 9.1. So today I'd like to show you some of the new features that Oracle added to their new version of Enterprise One version 9.1. At the end of this presentation, I'll share you some URLs and passwords of the public Steltix demo system so you can get some hands on yourself from your PC, iPad, or even mobile phone if it's an iPhone, Blackberry, or Android based phone. I'm running this demo also from the same Steltix public demo system because I also want you to know that Steltix has in-depth knowledge of, of these new technologies and is capable of leveraging these for your business. All right, here we go. I can't wait to show you all the new features. Okay, let's log into Enterprise One so I can demo some of the new features. The first big thing I want to demo is OneView. OneView is a new way of viewing Enterprise One data in interactive charts, PDFs, PowerPoints, Excel, or many other media formats with a zero footprint. That means it's completely web-based. Oracle created 40 new applications that deliver 178 reports with about a thousand components. Next to that, it's very easy to create OneView reports yourself from any grid in the system. Well, let's start with one of the applications that Oracle made specifically for OneView. It's one of the 40 applications. What OneView, OneView does, it basically exports the data from the grid into BI Publisher in a very, very nice format. Okay, I selected some data on the grid. Go to the new icon, as you see here, OneView, and below there's uh, a couple of reports. Well, let's set, select the payment analysis report. Now sends the data to BI Publisher and that opens up with um, a predefined layout and template. As you see, it looks very, very nice. Um, I never expected anything like this from an from a ERP package. Um, one of the great things of these charts is you can even change the filtering online. As you see, it moves nicely and very smooth. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own one view report. And I'm going to use the sales order application for that. I'm pretty positive this one is going to be very, very popular for the users to create reports of. All right, let's get some data in the grid. Okay, now from this grid, I want a nice chart. So again, we've got one view, and well, there's no reports for this program. I'm going to add a report. Now, I first have to select the columns that report will be based upon. So let's select um, order number, or the quantity. I want the description and the price. That's a nice list of columns. Okay, I'm going to save this as a, a test report, test one. So now it opens up um, BI Publisher and it's asking me for a template. Now, let's do a chart. Okay, here's the chart, here's the data I selected, okay, and you know what, here I want the order number, I want the quantity, and I want the unit price. That looks nice, let's uh, save this as a layout. For the selection layout one, save, and as you see here, the layout is saved. You can create more layouts if you want to. So we're going back into Enterprise One, get some data on the grid again, and select my test report. I'm now creating charts, but you might as well do a PDF, CSV. Um, and many other media formats, like I said. 
it's getting the data from the grid now and uh, sending it over to the app publisher. Starting the viewer. And here my nice report. So it's it's as you see it's very very easy to create your own one view reports. Next great thing I want to demo is the auto suggest. So why not start the sales order application again? We were there anyways. Um, let's say I don't know the salt tool, but I want to filter on salt tool, but I don't name. So let's start typing. And what happens? It looks up in the database and it offers me some suggestions. So let's select the 4242. You will find, and again, all the sales data for the Sol 4242 pops up. All right, here I want to demo the hover view. As you see, there's a orange dot here, so I can hover over it. There's an icon popping up, popping up with more. Let's select the icon. And a small form pops up with um, details from the editor's book for John Doe. And from here on, I can get a lot of information. I can even click V card so it saves the address information on my laptop. Well, I don't need that at this point in time. All right, the next big thing is mobile. I'm also very excited about those new features. The full Enterprise One user interface was already supported on the iPad, but now Oracle created web applications specifically for the iPhone, Blackberry and Android based phones. The mobile website is based on Oracle ADF application development framework that connects to Enterprise One by using web services. I'm going to do this demo from my iPhone, but it's also supported on the BlackBerry and Android based phones. I'm most impressed by the mobile sales, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, very simple, let's start Safari, log on with demo demo, and here you see the mobile sales application. Let's do a quick sales order inquiry. Search for Soltu, and again, for capital system, 4242, do search, and find 98. So pretty handy, and you see the screens are really made for, uh, for mobile phones. Even with the credit hold, get into an order, you can get all kinds of details from existing orders. What you could also do is, for example, um, do uh, item availability, say for item uh, 1, see where it's at, see what's available and even look up prices. This is another very powerful feature that Oracle just brought out and I noticed it's also available for Nino. Okay, so far the demo. As I said, we have a 9.1 demo system available for you to get some hands-on experience and test all the new features yourself. You can log on with user demo, password demo and the URLs are below. I've also put them on the comments of the YouTube video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or would like us to assist, feel free to contact us at www.statics.com contact or info at Thank you very much.